Taylor here with AcroSpray Drones. I'm going to show you how to check your props, motors, arm clamps, uh, and cam locks to make sure that your J150 is fit to fly. This should be done every single day you fly this drone. Whenever you unpack it in the morning, whenever you put it up in the evening, you're going to be touching all these components anyways. So why don't you go ahead and check these components, make sure they're tight. If they're not tight, that could spell a disaster at some point in time, and it's very easy to prevent that. So we'll start on the rear of the drone, kind of show you what my process is uh, for checking these in the field as I unfold. We'll unfold our back arm, then take our front arm out. And we're gonna go ahead and start on the front here because we always wanna make sure these are locked in first. So we'll check our cam locks right there. This one feels a little loose to me. It kind of just flops in. I can kind of use just a, one finger to put that in. It does pop. Um, and it does cam, it's just a little bit loose. Um, whereas this one over here, it kind of requires two of my fingers and my thumb to put it in a little bit tighter. Now you don't want to have to use both hands to, to pop that over on the cam. That's much too tight. It'll make it prone to cracking there. But if it is too loose, then it can cause some uh, vibration or might not force your arm you know, into its, um, its position on the bracket. So to tighten up our cam lock, uh, you can use channel locks, uh, or you can use, I believe that's an 8 millimeter uh, wrench there. Or in this case, I've got a pair of uh, vice grips that I kind of keep under my seat in my pickup truck. Basically, the way this works is if you lengthen it, uh, then it's going to essentially make it tougher to cam lock it. It's going to make it tighter. Um, and lengthening it would be to turn it this way on uh, this rear arm right here. If you're not sure, just go about a quarter turn one direction and check it. And if it's not, if it's not getting tighter, then go the opposite direction. And that is actually the opposite direction. That should be tighter. There, we'll go a little bit more. Okay, that feels a lot better. Uh, next, you wanna check um, the connection between the arm and uh, your, uh, your arm clamp that connects to your frame. And right here you can see, if I move this arm up and down, I don't have any play between my arm and my arm clamp. However, if I undo this, you can see there actually is some play there. So this will be okay to fly, but I still don't like to see this whenever I, uh, before I clamp it in. There, you can see that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up as well. That'll kind of squeeze this arm together. Uh, this is a 10 millimeter nut on the bottom, so you can use a 10 millimeter wrench, or you've got a pair of under the seat vice grips, then use that too. And just tighten that up, and that will squeeze it together. Okay, that's actually better there. Okay, moving down, just obviously check your arm. Uh, unless you crash the drone, your arm should be fine. There shouldn't be any splits in it. And then our props. So we're gonna take our props and we're gonna fold them out like this. If they fold out pretty easily uh, to where you're not having to hold right here and crank on it, that's okay as long as it's not too loose right there. Now, if you have to hold right here, just to get your prop to straighten out, that means it's too tight. You wanna loosen this up. Uh, if you do this and your prop just goes like that and it goes all the way around, that means it's too loose. And if you wiggle the prop up and down and you have play right there, that means it's also too loose. I'll show you what a too loose prop looks like. Right there, you can see we've got some wiggle basically over our our prop is wiggling inside of our bracket. That's too loose in my opinion, although it's probably still gonna fly just fine. Um, it's better to have it a little bit tighter than that. So we're gonna turn it about a quarter turn, check it again, and then just a bit more to where it still will freely move up and down. 
but it's not wiggling inside of our clamp right here. And while you're doing this, you can also check your motor because if you feel play at the end of your props, it might not be the clamp, it could be your motor bearing. Uh, we did have one motor bearing go out at about 10,000 acres on a J150, and we wouldn't have known that unless we would have checked it because it's still flying fine, but eventually it would have caused a problem. So if you're wiggling your props like this and you feel something moving inside of here, something clicking, that could be your motor bearing. While you're checking your props here to make sure that it's tight in here and that your motor bearings are tight, as you flex these up and down, it's a good idea to just look across this leading edge um, and the trailing edge here to see if there's any cracks that form. And again, unless you hit something, you really shouldn't see any cracking. Uh, but if there is a crack, replace it immediately because uh, that's you know an immediate point of weakness on the on the prop. Um, and especially if there's any chipping, sometimes you know, if you're not careful loading it up uh, in and out of the truck, you might you know chip the corner of a prop off. Will it fly like that? Yes, it will fly like that, probably for a long, long time. But always the idea to have clean, non-chipped, non-cracked props because again, they carry all your power. Okay, that's it for this one. Let's know if you have any questions. Thanks.